This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Melody. We're doing something different today, always doing something different. This is the eighth time we've asked Melody to stay connected on the aids, on the bit, on the contact, which is a big change for any horse. But now we're also asking her to stay connected in the warm-up, which we've never done before. To do that, Trudy's becoming very aware of her half halt. When Melody disconnects. She makes sure she takes a breath in. It comes through. She lifts her chest, brings her shoulder blades back, and of course, with her, you know, brings the seat forward and pushing her lower leg forward so she can keep it in the right place. Good. Take your time because first she has to feel it because you can feel it makes her feel bigger, right? right? Supple her with your outside rein and leg with the steps of connection as you do a half halt. Get her to lift her back up and supple her at the same time. So supple her with your legs and your rein. That's right, there. Feel her pick you up? Praise her. She'll hold it for maybe two steps if you're lucky. Now she's going to lose it a lot. So then you do a half halt. Very good. Feel it? Supple her. That's where she does the steps of connection. Checking to see Melody listen to my outside rein because you feel she's escaping it, right? So make sure she's listening to your outside rein and leg first. So when you supple her with your outside rein, she's doing a half moon type of movement with her hand. She has to give you her pole and her neck and her back from your leg. So yes, and you'll find she's going to wiggle back and forth a lot at first. Remember, two steps one side, two steps the other so you don't get into the seesawing. You know, back a few years ago, everybody was taught to do put their horse's head down, basically, with seesawing. It's a hard habit to change. So what we're doing with Trudy is we're having her connect her horses on two strides on one side, two strides on the other, and building up from there up to three. That's right. So you're going to think the two strides connect on the outside, suppling her, getting her back up with a half halt, and then two strides on the inside, just so you can start isolating it with her. Good. You can feel she's exploring with new ways to use her body now, isn't she? She's being pretty cooperative. Yes, she is. I mean, for her, she usually pulls a lot. I mean, she's pulling a lot. Right there, that's where you need a half halt. If she's pulling, that's you holding the rein a second too long. That's a fly. That's a fly. Oh, bad flies. So remember, if she's pulling, that's because you're holding the rein too long. And it could really be her pulling. But your goal is, if she pulls, you have to let go or get her to step up so she doesn't learn to pull more. There you go. Good. Yes, feel how loose you've got her neck now? Half halt. So you're going to do a half halt in every fourth, every corner of your circle. That's right. Half halt right here. Bring your lower leg forward. Get her back up so she steps up into your rein connection. That's right. Half halt is you get her to step up from your leg into a soft rain connection. That's when she's supple. Praise her. Good. Now you can feel she's really swinging from her hips and shoulders, isn't she? Okay. Yes, she's got suspension. Now you're going to start lengthening and shortening the trot, keeping this spring that you're feeling. It's not going to be easy. Just play with it because, again, we're doing this in the warm-up. Yep, and you can feel her tendency once she starts going faster. She likes to drop, right? And she gets a little stuck in the mouth. And that's normal because we've never asked her to do this in the warm-up before. So now you've got to think if she's getting stuck in the mouth, first if she drops in the front, it's because her back end doesn't have enough energy. So you've got to get stretch your legs down. and That's right. Do a half halt. Get her to pick up her back and get her to step into a live rein where you feel that she's participating instead of shutting down. A live rein is when the horse is actively seeking the contact. And a lot of horses, like, for example, this horse, for the first few years, her idea of rein contact was stay out of my mouth completely. And then it was a heavy contact because she just didn't know what to do. Good, good, good. Now you're going to shorten and lengthen, keeping this push. Yep, right there she drops you. That's where you need your outside rein and leg. So right here, start thinking shoulder four, like you're going to do a 10-meter circle. More activity. More activity. That's right. So now your response is every time she leans on a rein is when you're going to ask her to step up, pick up her back, and seek a live contact on the rein. That's right. More activity. Every time she leans on a rein, that's it. Feel it? Good. More activity. So your response to everything is more activity. 
your reins are getting too long. If they come behind your saddle pad, the length is too long. It's all right, she's gonna drop and fall a lot. Good, lengthen, that's right. Yep, do the steps of connection. As she starts lengthening, she'll wanna go into her old habit of dropping on the forehand and running, running through the aids. Good, soften her, send her forward and praise her. That's it, send her forward, more activity, more. Oh, good, 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 that's right. So Trudy knows now that unless Melody stays soft, supple in her jaw, her pole, in her neck, that she really can't step up from behind at this point. That's it. So more energy from behind and then supple her. That's it. Do a spiral in. As you come in on the spiral, keep the front of the saddle pointed to the inside and ask for more energy from behind so her shoulder stays up. Shorten your outside rein to keep her shoulder up. Shorten your outside rein, supple her on the outside. Supple her, there, feel that? That's it. Keep her shoulder up with your outside rein and leg. Praise her a lot. Keep her shoulder up, that's good, Trudy. Now you're gonna start a circle, a spiral. As soon as her shoulder's up, you can do a straight line and you're gonna try to keep her in that balance. So you're gonna start a circle. As soon as you feel her shoulder come up, you're gonna let her go straight and see if you can keep that balance. Yes, do you feel what's happening? She, again, she will only hold, go right into another, start another curve. Praise her. So every time her shoulder drops, you're gonna start another curve, get her more active, supple her on the outside rein and leg. That's right. Supple her on the outside rein and leg, start a curve so she picks up her shoulder. Good, Trudy, keep her, that's it. Keep doing the steps to connection. Melody, listen to my, whatever you're asking her to listen to, make sure she's listening. That's it, okay, now let's add, you're going to do a trot into a walk, keeping her connected. So slow down the steps of the trot. Ten, remember, 10 seconds, so that's 10 strides. Three, four, that was nice, how did it feel? I started before you started counting. That's all right, that's all right. Now think 10 steps up into the trot. So you're gonna prepare with 10, nine, eight, supple, supple, supple. That's right, feel where her balance is. That's all right. Good, supple her more with the rein. Make sure she gives you in the jaw, in the pole, and in the neck. That's right. So Trudy's saying that she feels that she has to ride the reins really short, and that is how it feels at first. It's a big shift taking a horse from green level to a training level type of a balance because now we want her to stay connected, which means instead of a loose rein, we're asking her to step up very nice into a connection. Yeah, feel the difference? Remember, now you're going to add your walk in there, so you start a circle to do your walk. The first step of the walk... We'll put, yep, that'll put her on her inside hind. Very good, good. Now when you get ready to trot, you have to supple her on the outside rein and legs so she doesn't run out on the outside. Take your time. Just take your time. Ten, yep, 10 steps. That's good, take your time. If she's falling on the outside, you need to use your outside rein and leg to push her in with a leg yield feeling. So she was noticing her falling to the outside. Which is a good thing because Trudy's and now that's feeling. Because I'm taking more connection in the outside rain, so she's interpreting that differently. Could be, yep, yep. Keep her supple. Supple is soft on the connection with the reins, so she has to give in her jaw, her pole, and her neck. And you can tell because her, you'll see her whole body is springy instead of tight. Very good, very good. Keep her active. I know it's so different that we're actually asking her to stay active now. That's right. So what Trudy's saying is why, Melody's thinking, why are you holding the outside rein? Because it's different. This is, like I said, the eighth time we've asked Melody to stay connected at the walk trot. And it's a whole different feeling. It's taken us four years to get her this to this point. She's a hot, nervous horse, very complicated, had some past serious behavioral issues that took us a long time to work through. But that's all right. You know, good things take time. Very nice. Yes. See how thoughtful your transitions are? Now watch that lower leg. Yeah, this one's slipping back. I know. That's all right. Just know that it will. So you push it forward now. 
that's it because that's where the go button is and you'll really want to get this down for what's happening with your canters But it's an old, they're old habits that we all have to work through. She's talking about her leg sliding back. It's, so if there's nothing you're doing wrong, you're just trying to figure out where you can keep it where it's supposed to be as much as you can. In the meantime, it's going to keep changing because we keep changing what you're doing with your horses and your position, right? So every time, like asking you to ask her to stay connected in the warm up, that's a pretty big shift. We've never been able to do that. Remember when we used to just let her race around? Good. Yep, inside two steps, and then you can build up to three. So she's saying that she can feel she's a little tight in the neck. And remember again, we're still in the warm-up. So we expect her, especially, you know, it's the eighth time we've asked her to stay connected. First time we've asked her to stay connected in the warm-up. Very nice. So what are you doing different with your transitions now, Trudy? Um, keeping her shoulders up. That's right, and what does that change? Keeping the shoulders yeah, up. keeping her more in balance where she can use her hind end. That's right. And how does she like it mentally? She seems to. She yeah. still gets a little tense in the jaw and right. the pole. But, I, I, you know, it's because years of habits of being ridden with somebody just yanking on her mouth. That's all. Including me. Well, it, it is what it is, and it's what a lot of riders go through. That was very nice.